Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. October the 5th, 2024. Wow, wow, wow. Can you believe it? October the 5th, 2024, and on a Saturday at that. I'm up and at it this morning. A lot of activity going on over here in, in this area. Uh, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of improvement with stuff over here. So that's that's really nice. Um, you know, even though this is a temporary area for me, a temporary location, I mean, you still want to, you, you still want the best for everybody. You want, you know, it doesn't matter where people live. You want them to have the best in everything, you know, properly functioning infrastructure, um, you know, and, and given the same attention as uh, so-called elite communities or, you know, affluent communities, whatever, whatever it's called. We all deserve to have proper infrastructure and proper uh, uh, necessities, you know, to keep, uh, to keep communities functioning. You know, I told you with uh, the culture I grew up in, black culture I grew up in, you know, and I was talking to my relative about this as well. We had everything in that in that community, you know, that range in that culture where we didn't have to go outside of it. And what I mean by go outside of it, you know, we, my mom could walk to the doctor if she needed to. Um, we all of us could go to a grocery store, library, gro you know, the main thing was grocery store. And what was so uh, fantastic for me were libraries, you know, so I can go in there and and learn, you know, learn some things and, you know, get away, you know, from the chaos. Because, you know, chaos is is uh, everywhere, you know what I mean? Even if it's in your family, because we were a big family. There was not necessary, no, no such thing really as privacy, <laughs> none. So that's probably why I value it so much, because it is, it's, it is, it is valuable to have some kind of privacy, you know, personal privacy where you can breathe and be, you know, just be, you know, without interference. So that's what I hear. Uh, that's so you may hear stuff going on in the background. Uh, you know, like I said, this community uh, deserves just as much care and attention, just like any other community. And it was so weird. You know, I saw something where uh, there was on, you know, where there was a divide. It was an obvious visual divide of communities. One community had the best of everything, while the other barely. You know, that's just that's just that weird uh, craziness that we've had for, for since inception. I'm sure. You know, where they say yeah, they were born on the other side of the track. You know what I mean? A lot of us know what that means, especially if you come from America. You know, this divide, intentional divide. And interference more so than anything. I know a lot of people are attempting to revisit certain things that happened. Uh, you know, I would say in the '60s, '70s. You know, it's as far as I remember, where people were intentionally invaded, intentionally infringed on, and lost their communities because of it. Because <clears throat> you had these. These so-called know-it-alls and these so-called scholars and, and 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 elite minds, you know, telling people how they're supposed to live, you know, enforcing communities that were functioning just fine to break up and go into other communities and you know essentially evade them, be just because you know just because instead of thinking clearly and effectively about you know how to keep communities functioning, how to keep people thriving, and you know, and so, so in other words, a lot of mistakes were made. Okay, I mean, mistakes are part of reality, but who's who's learning from these mistakes? You know, who's learning from them? So I want to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that a lot more later. Later, uh, I think this type of conversation I'm talking about with these cultures and stuff, just so it'll be. Oh, looks like something is about to fall over there. <clears throat> when it comes to these cultures, I think that has to be something that's in the proper setting, you know, so that people are not being mis misguided. And because I notice also, you know, a lot of people are coming forward talking about who's fake and who's not, who's telling the truth and who's not, who's healed, who's healers. I notice all that kind of 
those kind of paradigms going on right now. Now I'm not surprised by it. A lot of people are coming through talking about fakeness. You know, people um, are fake healers, fake um, messengers, fake prophets, fake... I mean, that has been going on for decades upon decades upon decades. Okay, now it's being kind of exposed, actually. The separation of the weak from the chaff is happening right before our eyes. And a lot of people are going to realize a lot of this stuff was all, already in plain sight. It was already there. But yet we kept focusing on, you know, on, on irrelevancy, like entertainers, sports, you know, I'll, even though I love sports, I love sports. I wanted to play sports when I was younger, but my mom wouldn't allow it. Um, sports is probably one of the most, you know, let, okay, let me just say this. Think about it what sports does for your life think about it and then consider you know consider you know find out intentions as to why you focus so much on certain things in your life okay um you know like entertainers why do you care so much about entertainers you know and sports why do you care so much about sports i'm talking about uh spectator sports not if you're if you're participating that's another that's another pair you know that's another um you know situation that's you know if you're playing sports that's one thing but either or whether you're playing sports or watching sports uh or in entertainment or watching entertainers it uh, an influencer or watching them <clears throat> find out what's a benefit to you Find out why am I doing this, number one, and what's the benefit? You know, a lot of people, we do have our fantasies. I love my fantasies, too. I, I fantasize all the time. I mean, all the time I, I'm fantasizing in my imagination, but I know, I, I know I'm grounded. I know what the realities of my situation are. So there's no confusion with me. There's no confusion at all, actually. Uh, but there is a lot of confusion going on. And there's a lot of things that are that are happening, you know, as part of the collapsing. A lot of a lot of personalities of people, you know, are, are collapsing, being exposed. You know, that's you know trickling down. You know, it's collapsing, and usually it starts from the top, but then it you know trickles down, trickles down, trickles down. So the, a lot of that is happening, and so like again, a lot of people are coming forward, calling themselves healers, uh, calling themselves. Uh, this or that or the other but and i also keep reminding people that you can't fool your consciousness either you can call yourself anything you want but you can't fool your consciousness so if you think you're a prophet you know if you think you're a hero if you think you are a healer if you think you're this or that or the other i mean hey that's that's on you but again you know you can like i said you can say anything you want you can call yourself a scientist you can call yourself an uh, engineer, all that. You can call yourself anything you want. You know, I want to be called a human being, and that's how I treat people. I'm not like human beings, a human being, meaning, you know, because like I said, I told you, separate your ego, separate your labels, you know, and, and see what you have there. What's there? What's left once you separate all that? You're a human being, and so that means you're susceptible to what happens to human beings when they are lying to themselves, lying to each other, uh, you know, being being so so so, you know, wanting to be more than you are, you know, none of us are more than we are, you know, you only you know you only can pro progress forward in a certain in a certain reality, and it takes development. So, so many people are collapsing. So many names are being thrown out into the into the universe per se of so-called fake people or so-called People who claim they know that these people are, you know, there's just going to be a whole lot of stuff going on. <laughs> but then I told you, you know, once you, once you're, uh, uh, you start evolving your consciousness and you started thinking, you, you know, you change your thinking modes and you're thinking properly, you're behaving properly, your actions and behaviors uh, uh, match up with your results. You know, you're pretty, you're pretty neutral about things. You're enjoying yourself. You, you know, you can be able, you can get past a lot of stuff. All that, you know, it's all interference. It's so, because we're so packed together, 
it's affecting all of us, whether we want to be affected by it or not. I'm affected by what my neighbor is doing, and I'm affected by more so by what's happening on this planet, whether I like it or not. Uh, I put a post out, I think I did, says, if you have roaches and rats, if your neighbors have roaches and rats, so do you. <laughs> you know what I mean? If your neighbors have roaches or rats or any other type of insects, so do you. Okay, it's how you manage it. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. It's how you manage things. And so instead of being so extreme and just wanting to destroy everything and, and, and put out chemicals everywhere, and you know, it, it's just, it just requires, it just requires, you know, clear and, um, and, you know, clear thinking about, okay, what's the issue? Who, who's benefiting from, you know, you, you have to go through stages of, of thinking, before you just start reacting and like I said throwing out poison everywhere just you know because you want to get rid of roaches because you want to get rid of rats so you you have this delusion that okay if I just poison these these creatures that are just as just as uh necessary on this planet even even more necessary than human beings by the way I've said this many times this planet can function perfectly without human beings Okay, but we've made certain um, certain uh, function of, functions of this planet to where there's a lot of uh, uh, things that are ought to be naturally uh, evolving. We've interfered so much that it, you know we made certain things dependent on us. And I put a video out about that a while, you know, some time ago. Whereas instead of allowing stuff to operate naturally. We've made it to where certain certain um, aspects of this planet are dependent on human beings, but it's a but it's a it's more in a destructive fashion, actually. You know, so you know we're interfering with the development and the uh, evolution, and in the, and you know we're just interfering, interference, 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 and it's gonna you know and it's just all over the place. We're just interfering all over the place, more so with the consciousness development of each other so you're gonna have a lot of people going out coming out pointing fingers at fake people pointing fingers at fake healers fake this and fake that i mean you know um a lot of things are just gonna you know everything is cause and effect so my point is don't be surprised you know that your your action heroes turn out to be you know you know your entertainers that you that you worship the ground that they, they, they walk on, you know, you turn out that they are illusions, you know, and don't even really exist. They were fake perf perf um, personas, athletes, entertainers, especially in politics, especially in business settings, the, you know, the, the, the billionaire boys club, you know what I mean? Those that are, who, who projected themselves to us over for thousands, not thousands, for, for, uh, several uh several decades as being these uh these these supreme minds you're gonna find out all that was fake personas you know you're gonna find out a lot of them that are holding these so-called positions never stepped the foot in a college setting okay never read a book okay they may have flipped through pages Okay, a lot of that is just going to happen, and thankfully, once all of that starts collapsing, and, and and like I said, it's part of a separation of the wheat from the chaff. Then a lot of genuine minds of people that genuinely care about humanity are going to come forward because they're working in the background, you know. So in other words, they're going to get recognized, and but they're not going to like, they're not going to be, they're not going to tolerate this entertainment status, though. This you know, this uh. Um, you know, this movie star, whatever, they're not going to entertain that because it's not going to be time for it, actually. Okay. The, we, there, there's some working on the background that, like I said, that are supporting the, the uh, safety and survival of humanity, but they know we're going to lose billions and billions of people. But yet they still do what they do to do whatever they can to save humanity, more so for the descendants, you know, and more so for, you know, just to f for the future of of how we evolve, you know, the, the, the evolution of our consciousness and how we are 
raising up. So, so in other words, don't be surprised that you're, 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 you know, your sports figure that you've been following for decades, you know, turns out to be, you know, not what you thought they were, especially in the entertainment, Hollywood, you know, that Hollywood glamorous thing. Uh, you know, especially, I mean, especially in politics, especially in advocacy, you know, especially in, you know, and a lot of it has a lot to do with jealousy and envy, jealousy and envy. And, you know, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between whoever is fake and real. But you have to ask yourself again, does it benefit me to know that? Does it benefit me to know that someone's claiming to be a healer when they're not healing me? So, you know, it's not affecting me directly, but indirectly, you know. Or somebody is, uh, you know, is lying about um, this and lying about that, and 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 um, telling people, you know, that you know, it's just it's, it's just a whole lot, and it's a lot to to, to put into a video, and I'm not going to do so. I've got plenty of videos that kind of, and again, you know, I said this the other day when it comes to you know people facing consequences. There's a lot of intentional, inaccurate information put out just to kind of measure what people were paying attention to and what people were gravitating towards and what people, you know, because like I told you, there's a lot of people stealing and they can't think of it. They can't think out of their ass, literally, figuratively, metaphorically. And so what they were doing was stealing people's content, plagiarizing other people's content. And that gets exposed easily when you are plagiarizing because they're not going to be able to kind of, you know, be, be very clear and effective about, you know, what they're attempting to disseminate. You know, there's, a, there's, some, there's some contradiction there, you know, contradiction. So... Yes, a lot of people are going to be facing those kind of consequences. You know, they're, they're so you know, I, I call these, I call that video series, um, the the awakening, devastating consequences, awaiting those operating with criminal energy. Okay, I mean, that is going to be something that's going to be a revelation to a lot of people, and that's why I said be kind and gentle with yourself. If you've always been righteous, you've done the right thing, but you look around and say, well, okay, how why are these people getting all this attention? When they, when it's clearly evident that they are still that they they don't know what the hell they're talking about, number one, and that they, they, they they've stolen stuff. You know they've stolen stuff because you know some of us know these people and know that they're lying. You grew up with them. You know they're lying. You went to school with them. You know they're lying, but yet you you wonder why other people are not picking it up. Well, because you're because you are confident in yourself. That's confidence to say okay, they'll expose themselves eventually. I mean, that's just how, that's cause and effect. And that's why I know a lot of people don't understand energy. They don't know, understand cause and effect. They don't understand that you reap what you've sown. They don't understand that there's no such thing as coincidence. They don't understand that there's no such thing as chance. They don't understand that there's a boomerang effect. So, you know, I, I uh, you know, just like everybody else, you know, all we can do is all we can do. You know, we have to allow people to, to uh, learn from their mistakes, if they if they ever will, some ever, some will not. I said th I said this, and, and this I'll make it a metaphor now, that when this planet is on the verge of being destroyed, literally, there are going to be still people standing by waiting for someone to come and save them. Okay, so again, pay attention to these times. This uh, I should let's let's clear this up. Pay attention to these timings. So many people are going to be exposed. So many names are going to be put out. And then the people like myself and others who knew that these people were, I mean, were, were uh, charlatans. You know, they were fake. They just, you know, hey. So, it, and it's a chance to, like I said, to, to discern, learn how to discern properly. Because nobody has to know. Because we all have been made a fool of. Everybody makes fun of us. A lot of people find us the butt of jokes, and that's everybody. You know, a lot of people um, uh, laugh in your face. Some people, most people, are cowardly and do it behind your back. You know, make fun of you, make fun of how you look, how make fun of your size, make fun of your color, make fun. You know, that goes on. 
And that's why you do have to develop a, a certain level of strength within yourself that nobody has to know about. And just get through it. Get through it. Like I have said in the beginning, when I started with these videos, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing because I suspended my ego. And when you suspend your ego, you can see clearly now. And you can go around people and, you know, and I can pick it up right away. You know, I can pick up deception right away. But I guess, you know, I play along with it because, you know, I still got to get to, I, I still got to get from point A to B. I need to stay on my alignment. I trust my alignment. And it's been, it's been beautiful when, when certain things are revealed. You know, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, love is a beautiful thing. And you can tell when people lack genuine meaning of love you know the act of love they so many people are you know i don't care if you were together you know five years or 30 years or more there are still some people who do not understand the act of love they're they're probably operating on the act of uh uh survival they're on the act of opportunities they're they're surviving all in the act of you know, to make sure they do have a house or a home or the basic necessities to live. But we'll go into that at another time. I just want to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountain to everyone. Universal love is for everybody. Okay, it's, it's even for the, the you know the ones do, with the evil and criminal intentions. You know, operating with the criminal energy, you you still loved. You know, people that do operate with criminal energy usually have people that love them. It's usually your children. And so you need to think about what you are passing on to your descendants. You know, is that an act of love? Okay, is it, is it an act of love? So peace and love, everybody, all over the stars, moon, and mountains. Again, it is about universal love. I'm going to keep saying it. And eventually a lot of people are going to snap out of their trances and they're going to realize what is right before their eyes. Okay? Trust me, I will be back.